With the release of iOS 17.2, Apple introduced the new journal app. If you're using another third-party journal app, you may find this app very basic. The journal app is simple and has some great features, such as allowing you to create journaling habits and keeping your journal entry safe. You can use the suggested prompts if you need help with what to write about. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. When you launch the journal app for the first time, you'll be guided through the initial setup process and allowed to turn on journaling suggestions, enabling you to add details of your day-to-day -day activities, for example, journal entries about the places you visit, photos you've taken, exercise routines you've done, and anyone you call or message. The initial entry will prompt you to permit access to the camera, microphone, and photo app. After launching the journal app, you'll tap the plus button at the bottom of the screen and you'll immediately come in to the area where you can select a prompt to write about or you can tap on new entry at the top and then you'll notice that along the bottom of the entry you have a toolbar. So this toolbar is called the magic wand. If I tap on that, now it allows me to go back to the journaling prompts and place that into an entry that I've already started. I can tap on the picture icon and that will take me into my photos app. I can tap on the camera icon, which will allow me to take a new picture. I can tap on the memo uh, icon here where it will uh, easily allow me to tap on the microphone and begin to record a voice memo. And I can also tap on the location icon that allows me to place a location for this particular entry. If I need to edit the entry while I'm still typing, I can go ahead and tap on the three dots in the upper right corner. And if I need to add a custom date, I can do that. I can also delete the entry in this option area. If I want to bookmark um, a particular entry, I can tap on the bookmark icon in the upper left corner. And when I'm finished, I can go ahead and tap on done. You're in complete control when it comes to keeping your journal safe from prying eyes. No one but you can access your journal, not even Apple. And so to set this up, you want to go ahead and open the settings app. Find and tap on journal, scroll down, and as you can see, I have lock journal turned on, but if yours is off, tap on that. It's gonna ask you for your passcode, put in your passcode, and then toggle this switch on, and below that, You'll need to require when the passcode, you know, how soon after the journal is inactive that you want the passcode to be entered. So I'll tap on that and you have three options immediately after one minute, five or 15 minutes. Once you've created some entries, you need to know how to view them and the available options. So once inside the journal app, you'll want to tap on the filter icon in the upper right corner. And you'll see here that you can then go through your entries according to the type of media. For instance, uh, if I tap on photos, all of my entries that have photos in them are going to appear. If I tap on places anywhere that I've added a location those entries will appear. So 
your entries will be easily you know, found by tapping on the different types of media that you have inside of your entries. Another option here is, let me just remove the filter for a second and come back to all entries. If I swipe an entry to the left, two options become available. I can tap this little pencil icon and come in and edit that entry again, or I can swipe to the left and I can delete this entry. Journaling can help you process your thoughts, but if you're not used to doing it daily, you might find it difficult to remember. Well, the journal app can send you reminders so that you remember to journal whenever you want. So to do that, you'll want to open up the settings app, tap on journal, scroll and locate journaling schedule, tap on that, toggle on the switch, and then you can set up a time and the days which you want to receive reminders. The journal app looks very promising. There's no iPad app but I expect that to change. Check out the journal app if you're just getting started with journaling or want a basic app that's always with you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.